whoa, this box is too big for the bench, but we are going to break it down and see what is in this box from Upside Down Bit Binders. All right, it looks like we have a stack of things. First, we'll start with this box from Bitbinders. We have, looks strangely like a power supply. Let's see what we have here. Oh, this is pretty nice. This is the 64 power, five volts, nine volts. Looks like we have our power connector for our Commodore 64 here. And we have our extension cord or outlet or plug-in here that looks like that will go into here but it is really nicely done. This appears to be 3D printed. You can see the, the texture and detail. Very nice, check this out. Very nice logo. Looks like we've got an on off switch here, which is nice. Let's go ahead and plug it into power. We won't plug it into the Commodore 64 yet, but let's go ahead and plug it in. It is nice that we have both cables coming out of the back so we can just Plug this into our Commodore 64. Now I do have a Commodore Plus 4 adapter that should work with this too. So I can probably use this on my Commodore Plus 4 as well. So if you're looking for a power supply for your Plus 4, I do believe this will work as well. Let's plug it in and see if we can get our indicators lit up. All right, plugged in. Let's go ahead and switch it on. Oh, beautiful, look at this. Shows our voltage, our amperage, our voltage AC. That is really nice. I will be using this for a project that's coming up for the channel. So this could not have come at the most perfect of time. So thank you for that, Bitbinders. Let's see what else we have. Box number two, now this kind of gives it away. Check this out, the 1581 DH double disc drive with Jiffy DOS ROM. Oh, I'm excited about this. Let's see what this is. Oh man, this is, wow. Nothing else in the box? Very substantial. Again, nice job packaging this up. Oh, this is gorgeous. Look at this, folks. This is a, and I've never had one back in the day. This is a double three and a half inch floppy bit binders, 1581 DV floppy disk drive. These are all hand assembled. Wow, look at this. This is just the styling on this. It just mimics the old 1581 drives perfectly. We've got our mechanisms in here. We have our drive lights. We have a power light here. I do love that they've replaced the Commodore logo with the little bit binders logo. This is really impressive. On the back, we have, we have our top device. You can change your units, which one you want to be one or two. You can see that here. Here are your switches. You can actually, it looks like you can turn units on or off, depending on what you want. We have our serial interface or our IEC interfaces here. Uh, our bottom device on one or two. Okay, so this is for the top. This is for the bottom, so you can set those. This is our power. Now, power was not included in the box. Uh, there is another uh, bag over here. We'll take a look at that. And then we have our on and off switch right here. Nicely done. Wow, that is impressive. And I don't think Commodore ever built a two unit floppy disk drive, one on top and one on the bottom. Now I will say this, Bitbinders did tell me that they have a side-by-side -side model, but I chose to go with this form factor because it would take less space on my desk. Now I'm also told that if you get the dual side-by-side -side model, it's actually designed so that it will support a monitor on top, which is really nice. Let's go ahead and set this aside. We have another little bag right here that came with it. Uh, this should have some things inside here for us that'll help us with our dual drive, this should be our power adapter. What are we looking at here? We are looking at 110, 250, nine volts. Let's go ahead and uh, let's plug in the drive. Now, again, I'm not gonna, in this video, we won't be plugging this into a computer. I'll be doing that in a future video. So, since I've mentioned that, I wanna make sure that you do all those things down below. You hit like, you hit subscribe, you leave a comment, do all that business down there, hit those alerts so that you know when I release my next video, 
about this device plugged into something, and I'll give you a hint. This will be plugged into a couple of items. We're gonna give this a shot on the Mega 65. Actually, you'll see it in an upcoming Mega 65 video, and I will be sharing this device connected to a Commodore 64 project I'm working on. Let's get this plugged in. Looks like it plugs in right here. Nice connector. All right, and I'm going to flip it on so that you can see this. And there's your lights. Very nice. Now, again, it's not connected to anything, so we shouldn't hear any clicking sounds. So the power light is on, as you can see right there. Now, we also have inside here, let's see, we have a 1581 toolkit and we have demos and utilities. So we'll have to take a look at those. This looks like the uh, Commodore 1581 demos and utilities. So this may include uh, all of the programs that were on the original Commodore 51 disk and utilities, and then the 1581 toolkit. I look forward to digging into that and see, seeing what's in there. This I am not familiar with. Uh, again, I never had a 1581. Now the beauty of this is I can plug both of these in, one there, one there, and then we'll have access to both of them without having to remove and do the old floppy disk shuffle. Very nice. And everything seems to be working really well. Look at that. Once again, I cannot thank Craig Smith over at Bitbinders for this generous contribution to the channel. He did not have to do this, and I know it's a significant outlay for his business that he's trying to start. So thank you so much again, Craig. I really appreciate the opportunity to review these for you, take a look at them, use them in my videos. As a matter of fact, I'll be highlighting the dual drive unit in my next Mega 65 video, so you're gonna wanna stay tuned for that. And then I'll be highlighting the power supply and the dual drive unit along with a Commodore C64 project that here's a little sneak peek I kind of have under wraps that I'm working on. Oh, don't look, don't look too much there. We don't want to give too much away. Uh, but looking forward to putting all that together to create just a really great C64 system. So again, one more time, Craig, thank you so much for this opportunity. And for all of you interested in both of these devices, as well as the other cool things that Bitbinders provides, be sure to take a look down in the video description for links to everything you've seen, plus additional items that are not on my desk that you might have interest in. And don't forget, there is a single drive version of this. So if you're just looking for a replacement 1581, that will be a great option for you. Again, link down below, please go out there and support those who are supporting our hobbies by creating these amazing recreations of devices that are, in this case, unobtainium. I don't think there's a dual drive 1581 out there but even at that, you're going to have a hard time finding a 1581. So that's it for today. Retro Combs out. Thanks for watching and be on the lookout for all of these devices and more in future videos.